So saints, what you think it is? You find out that learning is, is important than the operation. Learning is in, more important than the operation. So when we deal with the learning, the learning is actually going to make the operation correct. You see what I'm saying? If you don't operate in learning, the spirit will have issues with you. Because the learning going to be the only thing that keep you when the power of God is moving and you know that it's moving. Ain't nobody can tell you nothing because you know. And you know what's rocking for you. But the learning going to keep you humble while the power is moving. If you don't operate in, in the learning while power is moving, it's going to make you deadly to your own self. Meaning that, saints, let me just show you something. A police officer or, or somebody in authority, right? They have power according to the badge that they have, the gun that they have, okay? Okay, say somebody cusses out. Boom, 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 If that police officer haven't learned how to defuse a situation, you see what I'm saying? If the police officer didn't learn how to defuse a situation, the police officer may go grab the bop, 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 and pow, pow, pow. You understand? Because the operation and the learning are two different things. Now, if the mindset of the, the officer is that, I know, I know, I know how people are. I know that this is a different breed of person. I know that... And I may just have to call back up just to get them restrained. But I ain't going to do nothing too crazy, but I, I, I'll find back up. What I'm saying is the learning going to produce a different reaction to hostility. Now, if, if a person has a badge and they have not learned, you know what they're going to do? They're going to deal with it according to how they feel. Now, mind you, the person that's acting hostile they're wrong. Look at their operation. Because if they had learned, their operation would not be cussing out a cop. Jesus didn't even cuss out the cops when they came to him. So what I'm showing you is that if you look at life, operation is actually the least compared to the learning. Which shows you why the Lord takes you through processes. And sometimes that process could even be longer, even though you want to get to a certain promise or a certain possession of something. The process will keep being there because what you're learning is more important than the actual operation that you're eventually walking. Because if you don't learn and humble yourself. Then when you get to the operation, you're going to kill it anyway. It's going to be like you never got to the operation because you're going to kill it. And so the spirit will willfully let you magnify learning. Sometimes you may be inside of a place. God, God know the atmosphere for you to learn best. And sometimes the Lord, he don't give you your own place. He lets you live with somebody on purpose. Because you need to learn some stuff. You need to learn some stuff. And sometimes you might think that that person being hard on you. And God will say, sit right there and take it. Well, they mad because I, 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 I ain't paying no rent. I ain't doing all this. No, no, no. 
Learn what you need to learn. Learn what you need to learn. Don't run from your girlfriend, your, 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 the person that God used to open up that door to the home to you. Learn what you need to learn there. Because how you going to operate in your own home? And you haven't even learned certain things in someone else's home that was going to empower you to reign in your own home at due time. You never let the learning happen. So how you gonna uh, how you gonna receive the operation? That's the same thing. God lets stuff happen all the time where you can learn better than possess what you think you should be possessing because you're gonna possess it anyway. Because that's in God's plan for your life. But you need to learn so that when you possess it, you don't destroy it. Saints, Judas did not learn of what privilege he had. Nobody had taught Judas that if the creator of the universe come down in a body and he talking to you, whatever you do, just do what he say. Protect him at all costs. Judas never heard nobody teach him that. He did not learn. You see what I'm saying? The brothers of Joseph did not learn. Don't throw the person into the pit and they're your deliverer because there's coming a famine later on. You're not going to see it right now. But later on, there's a famine coming. And when the famine come, he going to be the only one that's going to have mercy on you so that you don't die in the famine. What I'm telling you is that the operation of brother was not coupled with the learning of brother. So now the operation is there. That's his brothers. But there's no learning. Same way what happened in the Bible. Why do you think that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow to that stature? Because they had learned not to betray their worship with another God. To not worship this false God that they had made out of a stature. And so now the operation is there. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego choose a different operation. Why? Because they had learned. So saints, learning is way more important than the operation. So saints, while you may see around you, I don't see the manifestation yet of my wealthy place. What is God having you learn for the wealthy place? What is he having you learn? Because if you don't see the manifestation of the wealthy place, that means that there are things that he's having you learn for the wealthy place. So while your physical body may not be manifested in the wealthy place, there is a learning that he's teaching you about the wealthy place so that when you get there, you don't do nothing stupid. Saints, somebody can be in a big old house. You know what they'll do? They'll say, well, well, this light ain't working over here. Man, dog, this light ain't working over here. This light ain't working over here. Man, dog, this light ain't working over here. guess what? There's other lights working. You gonna talk about one light in the presence of more lights than you ever saw? But see, this palace talk, if you have not learned the palace, you'll operate with the vocabulary of the pit and the vocabulary of the pit going to lead you in the direction back to a pit. Because your life is only going in the direction that you're talking.
Saints, you ever dealt with a customer service rep and they're, they're all ghetto and they disrespectful and they they impatient? Hold on. Can you stand over to the side? Hold on. Hold on. And, 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 and like you like, what, what, what? They have an operation, correct? But they have not learned. Now, now watch this. Here's the secret to this revelation, though. Learning doesn't, not learning doesn't mean that you wasn't taught. Because the fact that they got a job, that means that there was some type of teaching for them to get it. Because most times the boss not going to hire you unless you, you seemingly have some type of qualification. Okay. So not learning doesn't mean that you're not taught. Not learning means that you also can forget what you were taught. Because another spirit entered in while you're in the operation. Now, saints, I want to take you deeper on this. Joseph's father was a man of God. So all of his brothers had knew that they was doing wrong. That's why they lied to the daddy. Remember, they told Joseph's dad that he was dead. If he was a wicked man, they wouldn't have had to have tell him a lie. So they told him a lie because they had learned how to operate towards their brother. They so, so saints, not learning does not mean that you didn't have no teacher or you haven't been taught. Not learning mean that you also refuse to use what you was taught. Saints, I want to say something to you that you never heard before. Hezekiah had learned how to pray. He was taught how to pray. But he unlearned what he was taught because he had got wealth and he had got money and he had got provision. So he forgets what he learned. And he starts doing something against what he's been taught. So he's operating as a wicked man. 2 Chronicles chapter 30, 32. 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 24. In those days, 2 Chronicles 32, 24. In those days, Hezekiah was sick to death and prayed unto the Lord. And he spake unto him and gave him a sign. But Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him. For his heart was lifted up. This is something that you're going to have to catch with money coming. This is what you're going to have to catch as a sower. Don't let your heart get lifted up. Because saints, let me just tell you something, especially all of you all in this ministry, because there's nobody that teaches their people what I teach you at the pace that I'm teaching you. At the frequency, at the consistency that I teach you. So it is it will actually be easy for you to, to literally tap into another spirit of arrogance and pride <laughs> and, and and you actually could mishandle your knowledge. Like, for instance, some of you all know that I said I don't like the word amen because amen is a word that is, is, is saying so be it, it agrees, but all the dusty people say amen. 
I done met so many devils that say, amen, amen, amen. They talk about you, amen, amen. So I said, I'd rather you use exciting words, glory, hallelujah, praise God. Say something with enthusiasm. Say something at the level of teaching that I give you. Like, like amen is something casual, you know, you know, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's powerful, but say something powerful. But guess what? I didn't tell you that so that if you see somebody come on and I'm preaching on Facebook or if I'm preaching on Pesco or I'm preaching somewhere on a meeting and somebody say, amen. And you say, well, prophet don't like amen. That's not a smart move. Because they have not learned. So if, if you press somebody into an operation without them learning, it's, it, it arouses something called offense. And then when they get offended, they can't hear what I'm saying. And so now my words are being blocked. And now Satan will laugh and say, ha, 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 look at him. He's giving the highest level of word and they can't hear it because they're offended. The disciples saw somebody moving in miracles and they told Jesus, oh, let's go stop him because he's not following us. Either. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. Those that are not against us are for us. Stop. Why are you going to make them an enemy? And they're not an enemy. Saints, Joshua saw that they was prophesying and there was two of the elders that was apart from the other 68. And, and Joshua said, oh, 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 Moses, I come to snitch on them. There's two of them that didn't listen. They, they two of them back. And Moses said, calm down, Josh. Calm down. Calm down. I know you're zealous. But I, oh, how I wish that all the Lord's people were prophets. Oh, how I wish that everybody would be a prophet. What Moses has a high grace and he's letting Joshua know those people don't understand protocol so good. But it's all good. Peter was going to go jump. The other disciples were about to go jump and say, this man up there cast out. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. it's okay. <laughs> you get to move with the twelve. They of the discipleship, boom. They got their other section. It's all me. It's all me. Jesus is at the cross and the man goes, goes and gives him vinegar. The man is giving King Jesus vinegar because guess what? That man never sat with King Jesus and learned. You better not never put no vinegar next to my lips. <laughs> I'll beat the, I'll back slap you back to Samaria. I'll crocodile slap you all the way back to Judge Joe Brown court.
I'll backslap you back to Judge Joe Brown court. You don't want none of this. Judge Joe Brown, he didn't even know how, he didn't even learn how to operate when he in front of a judge. The judge would tell him to shut up. Ma'am, you're not gonna. Ma'am, shut, shut. I'm the, I'm the court. The man, listen, you got another day in jail. I don't got no other day. You go on day two. Let me tell you something there, ma'am. I'm going to tell you something. I done been on Fox News. I done been on off three, three days in jail. Shut up. Shut, shut up, witch. Shut up, witch. Witch. Shut up. Four days in jail. I backstabbed you. I know some thugs in Chicago. I know some thugs in Old Block. <laughs> I know some thugs in Old Block. Five, five, five days in jail. Five days in jail. Let me tell something. Let me tell like I tell I is. <laughs> I'm Judge Joe Brown. What I'm saying is learning, it keeps you humble with operation. The reason why I'm able to do this with such precision because I'm constantly learning. So, so I'm qualified to keep on teaching you at this depth because I'm constantly learning deeper and deeper. And I position myself to learn every single hour of every day. I even learn on the line. Think about it. Why do you think that we deal with section C? In heaven, in the libraries of heaven, that I deal with. With, 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 with uh, uh, cafeteria out of night, we dealing with th uh, second level, third heaven. What, what you think we doing all this stuff? Why could I operate like that? Because I'm constantly learning. So, watch this here. As long as you learning, it's impossible for you to take on a wrong spirit with the operation. But the minute you stop learning, now your heart could start taking on things. So saints, let me just say this to you. You men and women out here, sons and daughters, as you're getting more into wealth and, and, and riches and debt cancellation and money coming from the Lord blessing you and taking good care of you and showing you greater uh, levels of angels and greater level uh, 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 of mantles, you don't ever want to take on a wrong spirit. Because saints, there's a heavy anointing. You know that, man. It's a heavy glory how, 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 how I release things to you. So, so it, it will be so easy for you to mishandle that. You see what I'm saying? Like have all of your wisdom there. Like say for instance, say 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 we somewhere, and then you 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 cut somebody out, and you say, well, you can't tell me nothing. I got authority. I'm 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 I'm, I'm with Prophet Joshua Holmes. I got authority. Yeah, but Prophet Joshua Holmes don't act like that. So so you don't know that you lost your authority once you started acting like I don't act. Saints, do you understand that the sons of Sheba tried to operate with casting out devils, but they did not have what we call learning. So the devils did not get cast out. They was acting like they had authority from Jesus. They was coming in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, no, you didn't learn. Number one, if you was coming in my name, you would know that I didn't want to do it like that. You would have knew not to even speak a word. You, the same way. You see somebody demon possessed in public and you go run up to them and you go slap some oil on them. You see how they pull out their gat and shoot you in the toe. <laughs> you up there got a hole in your foot. Looking like a female version of, uh, of crucifixion. Because... You didn't learn 
So the operation is off. You're going to have to learn with money cometh how to stay in the right operation, the right spirit, the right mentality, the right energy, the right consistency, the right zeal. Don't let God do anything in your life without you keep on bringing it before him and telling him thank you. Lord, I tell the Lord, thank you for all that I have. Thank you for this. Thank you for this clothes. Thank you for this outfit. Thank you for this gadget. Don't let the Holy Spirit do anything for you and you not thank him constantly for doing it. You should be reminding God of what he did for you, not him reminding you. That's how you know that something has gone wrong. If the Lord has to remind you instead of you reminding him. See, you are supposed to be telling the Lord, Thank you for this. I remember this. Not him telling you. Do you remember the times where I did this for you? Saints, Job was on the verge of what Hezekiah did not defeat. Hezekiah ended up entering into that. Job was right on the verge of that because he kept his testimony. He kept his testimony. He was blameless. He was blameless. He was blameless. But guess what? Then... He kind of puffed up just a little bit and God still counted unto him as righteousness. That's how much the Lord, the Lord loved Job. The Lord didn't even deem that because because he, he still got a little curious. Like, why is this happening to me? What's going on here? And, and then the Lord said, where was you? Where was you? What I'm saying is that the devil constantly looking to take over the operation. So the only way for you to protect it is to stay learning. Job had already took on the operation. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But but now, 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 now Satan is still fighting for, 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 for that operation to get him to operate in another spirit. And the Lord said, where was you when I created all of this? Where was you? That's the Lord rebuking him. The Lord rebuking him. You don't want the Lord to rebuke you. So stay in the right spirit. You see what I'm saying? Woman of God, when the Lord make you rich, wealthy, stay in the right spirit. What you're learning today, you, you don't change that once you get wealth. Stick with that saying, man of God. What you're learning today, stick with that. Don't get money and wealth and then change into a monster. Keep the right spirit. And, and let me just also say this. There's a dimension of mercy that God will give you. There's a dimension of patience that God will give you and gentleness. I'm very gentle. I'm very gentle. I've met many people in my life that didn't get it, but I'm very gentle. So I'm still able to be a blessing to offer it to them. You see what I'm saying? Gentleness is a fruit of the spirit. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. Long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. I was talking to my son, Joshua. God, I, I trained him at his job to be different. And he was telling me about how people be complaining at the job. And he got favor with his boss because he listened to what I said. Now, he could have been like every other young man talking about, oh, and he was telling me how people be telling the boss stuff and da, 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 and the boss be frustrated. If your boss get frustrated with you, it just show how, 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 how unlearned and untrained and, and disqualified you are. People not really smart. Why would you anger the area that money coming? <laughs> but this is our generation. And, and, and see, of course, they're not raised up by prophets and stuff like that. But, but think about it. Look at the mindset. Why would you be friends with a girl that ain't never did nothing for you, but you'll cuss out a boss that's giving you everything? You stu 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 stupid. You talking about, oh, this is my BFF. We girls, we girls, we girls, we girls. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. you rather keep that and that ain't even supplying nothing to you and abort something that has a supply? But mentally, you see how people are off. 
Imagine how many people protect relationships that God don't even have no pleasure in. Saints, remember what I said. You don't want to do stuff just because you can do it. You want to do it because it's going to bring pleasure to God. If it's not going to bring pleasure to God, you actually don't want to do it. Oh, I'm just calling them on the phone. I just, I just need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to talk to, right? But is that worth missing God's will? Because he's not going to have any pleasure in you talking to them. See, and that's what's going to differentiate. And that's how money cometh. Is going to keep on working in your life. Because you're going to become somebody. That don't say. Okay I can do this. So I'm going to do it. You're going to be someone. That say I'm going to do it. Because it's giving God pleasure. Whatever's not giving him pleasure. Is what I will stop doing. That's the friends of God. That's the friends of God. And that's how he gives you abundance. That's how he gives you overflow. Because you're showing him I am loyal to your instruction, to your will, to your desire, to your rules. Because there's rules to money coming. And one thing is that you have to remain a pleasurable experience to the father. You got to remain a pleasurable experience to the Lord. Saints, imagine Ananias was trying to impress his wife like he could get away with lying to Peter, but he was supposed to impress Peter. He was impressing the wrong person and she was trying to impress him like she's submitting to his lie. She was loyal to his lie until the last breath she took. And saints, this real strong, right? Think about it. She impressed the wrong person. He impressed the wrong person. And both of them in hell today. What I want you to start thinking about this. Why am I trying to impress a girl that, that don't even agree with the prophet I follow? What am I trying to impress? Why am I trying to impress a man that laughs at the path that God has given to me? What am I trying to impress them with? I'm impressing the wrong person. My deliverance, my freedom. Saints, don't think for one minute that the queen of Sheba wasn't here and people tell, tell her, girl, you a queen. Why are you going to go sit underneath Solomon? You got more money than him. Girl, what you up there? Girl, where you going? You're not going to let us go with you? No, you can't go with me. You can't go with me. No, I don't want you to go with me. Why we can't go? We go all the time, right? I want to see where you going. We all going together. Where's you, what's happening? What's you go, were you going to a meeting? What you was going? Yeah I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go see King Solomon. Who is that? I done heard about him, boo-boo. I done heard about him. Yeah, is it? And King Solomon? The one with 700 wives. Oh my God. And you and you want to sit up in there, boo boo, and learn from him? Boo boo, nah, boo boo, I can't. I can't with you. I can't with you. I hope God revealed the truth to you. I hope God revealed the truth to you, boo boo. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Who then? You don't got brainwashed. Saints. Every divine path requires you to press to stay there, to get there, stay there, and, and continue there. And increase there. Every divine path requires you to, 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 to get there, stay there, continue there, and increase there. Every divine path. And, and, and the woman with the issue of blood. It was against the law for her to be out and about like that. It was against the law for her to do that. But she still did it. Because she knew if I break the law, I'll receive my grace. She learned that staying in contact with Jesus was worth it. It was worth what seemed like a risk. Even if people didn't agree with it, it was worth it. 
and she was willing to do it. Saints, she touched the hem of her garment. That show you how she thought of herself. She thought of herself unworthy to even touch Jesus. She didn't even want to touch his, his legs, his ankles. She went go touch his hem. Look at the mentality of this woman. This woman, she sit her used to be fine self right there. <laughs> you know, when you got, you got blood issues and stuff ain't working for your good. She going to sit. Wait, wait. That was just days of our lives kicking in. Uh, you, you don't want me to touch his hem? No, I don't want you to touch his hem. Because guess what? The only hem you're going to touch is mine's. No, no, no. I don't want to touch your hem. I don't want to touch your hem. Why don't you want to touch my hem? Because, because, because. What? What happened? What happened? Why you don't want to touch the hem, huh? Why you don't want to touch my hem? Touch my hem right now. Why you don't want to touch my hem? No, I can't touch your hem. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Why can't, why can't you touch my hem? Huh? Huh? Because I'm touching somebody else's hem. Ah! Cut! Cut! What? Cut! She touching somebody else's hem? Cut! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Cut, cut the video. She, she took. Oh, oh, it's just a skit? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. To <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Makarapa basa kori de de de. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now now let me let me let me deal with this real quick. Alright, second chronicles, let's deal with uh, chapter thirty two. Chapter 32, let's go here. Verse 25, but Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him, for his heart was lifted up. Therefore, there was wrath upon him and upon Judah and Jerusalem. Now withstanding, Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart. Wow. Money cometh was operating for Hezekiah. I'm going to show you. Let's keep on reading. But he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that, so that the wrath of the Lord came not upon them in the days of Hezekiah. He humbled himself finally. Look at verse 27. And Hezekiah had exceeding much riches and honor. You see that? But who gave him these riches? The Lord. Who gave him the honor? The Lord. But who stopped praying? Hezekiah. Who stopped seeking the Lord? Hezekiah. Let me just tell you something. To whom much is given, much is required. My motive for this mantle that I'm giving you now is that I already know some of you all's destiny. Because you're doing the same thing that I did. I already know your destiny. I already know the path of a sower. So what my motive for this mantle is to just prepare you so that you don't take on another spirit and forget the Lord. It's crazy if the Lord gives you a boat and now you're on the boat all the time and you don't pray no more. It's crazy if the Lord gives you a vehicle and now you always outside of the house. You always outside. You every week, every month, all 30 days, you can't even stay home because you're driving. You enjoying that. You, 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 you get, you get, you get the power to buy money, uh, uh, power with money. And now, now you're taking trips all across the world. You're going places, you're going places, and you're not acknowledging God or nothing. What I'm saying to you is that you have to remember your first works and your first humility 
and keep bringing yourself back there so that when the Lord gives you lavish things and royalty and abundance, that you can have the abundance of worship and fear of the Lord and consistency and surrender operating through you. Don't become lackadaisy. Saints, I want you to catch this. Jacob's ladder was prophetic because you're supposed to be climbing that ladder sometimes. And sometimes you have to, even though all this stuff is happening to you on the earth that is blessed, that is rich, that is uh, pleasurable, that is exciting, you still got to climb that ladder back into the bosom of the Father. You got to climb that ladder back into the right mentality. Climb that ladder back into prayer, into seeking God, into praising God, into thanking God. And saints, don't let God give you so much and you praise him little. Recognize today the goodness of God before it's too late. Make it your objective that I'm going to praise God for what he's doing for me now. I'm going to thank him for what he's doing for me now. And don't casualize what you have. Don't casualize it and say, you know, God about to give me some new clothes. So bump these clothes. And you wear your clothes. I don't even like these clothes. But God going to give me some new clothes. Don't do that. Treat those clothes like royalty. Don't eat, eat some oodles and noodles and say, I don't even like these oodles and noodles. But God going to give me something that I want. He's going to give me the food that I want. No, no, no. Say, Lord, I praise you for these oodles and noodles. And saints, that's kind of funny to me. I'm, I'm joking around like that. I'm talking about that. But I remember there was a time where I was eating oodles and noodles. <laughs> I remember that. That was a time where that was like the only food that I could afford. I had left everything to follow Jesus. My childhood, you know, if you call somebody spoiled, that's what, that's what you'll call my childhood. Like I was getting what I wanted and stuff like that. When, when I when I hit that 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 uh, going into that teenage mark, I saw I saw the invasion of the glory of God. I left everything for the Lord. I done gave away everything I had over four times in my life. Every single thing, including the clothes off my back, I only had one outfit on. Over four times in my life, I've given away every single thing, everything, and I got it all back. And guess what, man? I'm in my twenties, man. <laughs> I'm in my 20s. So, so here's your encouragement. The glory of God is so strong for recovery. Because I, I, I did, all I did was do the same principle. I sold and I reaped a hundredfold. I sold and I reaped a hundredfold. I sold and I reaped a hundredfold. The hundredfold is real. What I'm telling you, that only thing that you want to be cautious of is that you don't want the devil to instigate when the wealth power of God is flowing heavily for you and make you start thinking in a way. Look, look what the Bible said here. It said Hezekiah. It said that his heart was lifted up. Why the heart lifted up? Because the wealth moving, the money moving. He rich. He a multi, he a multi billionaire tree, all that stuff. What I'm saying to you is stay in that humbleness of mind. Be gentle. Be forgiving. Be merciful. Be kind. The other day, uh, <laughs> me, me, Hainsley, and Joshua, we was at this, uh, we was at this restaurant, and and the guy, the guy. Uh, the guy, we, we had ordered something. The guy looked at the, um, the guy said, uh, you sure you ordered that? Did you pay for it? Or uh, something like that. And guess what? The order was, uh, we had the receipt, but the guy was trying to be dusty. Trying to say like, you know, like you're trying to get over on me. Like you're trying to ask for something that you didn't pay for. You know, that type of thing. So then the guy ended up apologizing. Now, saints, you have thoughts. You know, you you know, you you feel like a little John Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back it up, yeah. You feel little John, you feel little John Spirit, you know, you know. 
You felt like going to the windows and to the walls to give them a piece of your mind. You know what I'm saying? You won't go to the window and to the walls to give them a piece of your mind. Huh? And we don't want to deal with the other part of that song. But we, we, we want to give a piece of your mind. But guess what I did? I just took the low place. I ain't speak none about it. You, you can have a thought to say, hey. Oh, so you thought that I was stealing? What you think that I was lying? You, you, but guess what? How pleasant it is just to stay at peace. And not to move from your location. Because all type of stuff that happens in your life is to take you from your location of right spiritness. Right mindedness. It, stuff happened to you all the time to take you out of your right mindedness. But, but, but okay, I go tell them that, but, 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 but what, what, what's going to do for me? What's going to do for me? So, so what, what, ah, what's going to do for me? What is he going to do for me? I'm already blessed. I'm already growing. I'm already grooming. I'm already grace. I'm in the glory. So what is that going to do for me? Yeah, you got to see that in your life. Sometimes people talk to you. They don't even deserve a response. Just be silent. Saints, Prophet Joshua Holmes, I got, I got over... I got thousands of thousands of pound messages that I don't, I don't, I don't. Because, because the spirit ain't, that ain't going to do nothing for me. This stuff I don't pay attention to because it's not going to do nothing for me. Why do I need to be focusing on something that's not going to do nothing for me? Because not, as long as you keep the right spirit, you qualify for increase in wealth and more. But don't let anything affect that purity that God gives you. Stay pure and stay loyal to the right spirit. And, and, and the more God gives you, remember I said the higher you go, the lower you go. You know why? Because when you're in the palace, the only reason why you should operate like you're in the pit, because of your need for the father. You don't operate like you're in the pit off of mentality, like low class, like poverty stricken, like defeated, like destroyed, like loss, battles. No, no, no. You operate like you like from the pit in the sense that you lower yourself and keep on acknowledging the Lord and keep on seeking to please him with your attitude and your mentality. See, this, this just apostolic teaching because I know where some of you all are going. This is, but, but you, you don't want to get there and Satan sneakily operate within you and have you acting wrong. You see what I'm saying? And then another thing, when God gives you wealth, you're going to have to be very careful of thieves because people know when you're wealthy. When God makes you wealthy, people will know. You got to be careful of what they call them people. Uh, them, um, them scammers. Scam you. Saints, you know I've been in ministry for a long time. Do you know sometimes I would do money coming stuff? And then, then now everybody got 15 15 children and they did have to tell so I ain't got no food to feed my children today. Money coming. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing money coming stuff and then it pop up. Oh, uh, my, uh, my, I ain't got no I ain't got I, I just got kicked out. I just I just 